cardiovascular disease is the commonest cause for cardiovascular morbidity and mortality world over. And if you look at the prevalence of CAD or coronary artery disease, India is one of the countries with a very high prevalence. Even in India, there is a difference between the northern part as well as the southern part and the prevalence is maximum in the state of Kerala. Premature coronary artery disease, defined as CAD, occurring in men below the age of 55 years and in women below the age of 65 years is very common. Very encouraging point is 80% of these premature coronary artery disease are really preventable. If you want to prevent coronary artery disease, we should understand what is leading to this disease. That is basically the fat getting deposited inside the blood vessels supplying the heart. And people have identified many risk factors responsible for that. In my discussion today, I would like to discuss 10 important risk factors, out of which three are non-modifiable and the seven are really modifiable. The three non-modifiable risk factors are the age, the gender, and the family history of coronary artery disease. Age, everyone knows. As the age increases, the likelihood of CAD increases. The second point is the gender. Compared to men, in women, till menopause, the likelihood of CAD is significantly less. That is basically because of the protective effect of the female sex hormone, the estrogens. But once they attain menopause, the risk is similar to the men. The third important point is a positive family history. There are certain families where multiple family members develop heart attack at a young age. So it is good to find out if your first degree family member, namely parents, brother, sister or your children, if they have developed heart disease at a young age, then you certainly have chance of developing CAD at a young age. So these are the three important non-modifiable risk factors. Now coming to the modifiable risk factors, the most important one is smoking. Smoking is not that it can be modified, it can be totally eliminated. And giving up smoking at any age is certainly very desirable. Because even if a person had been smoking for years together, if he gives up smoking within a period of around two years, the increased risk which he developed practically disappears. The risk becomes almost similar to someone who has never smoked in his life. The other advantage by giving up smoking, you are reducing the chance of developing lung cancer, laryngeal cancer, peptic ulcer, otherwise, and many other lung diseases, what we collectively call the chronic obstructive lung diseases. Both active and passive smoking are equally important. The next important modifiable risk factor will be systemic hypertension or high blood pressure. One important point which I would like to mention, hypertension does not ordinarily lead to any symptoms. That is why we call it as a silent killer. So the only way you can diagnose hypertension is by recording the blood pressure at least once in a year. So make it a point to record your blood pressure at least once in a year and try to keep it below 120 by 80 if the blood pressure is more than 140 by 90, certainly it requires intervention, either by way of lifestyle modification or by giving drugs. And the third important modifiable risk factor will be diabetes mellitus. 
Diabetes is very common in the state of Kerala. Around 20% of the adult population, people above the age of 35 to 40 years, have diabetes. Before a person develops diabetes, there is something called pre-diabetes. The person may remain in the pre-diabetic state for several years, maybe three years or five years, and even during that time, he has a higher risk of contacting heart disease. And when the fasting blood sugar is more than 126 milligram, or the glycated hemoglobin, when it is more than 6.5 percentage, you consider the person as having diabetes. So diabetes should be diagnosed early. Early diagnosis is important so that you can prevent complications. In fact, diabetes should be diagnosed in the pre-diabetic state. When your fasting blood sugar is between 100 and 126, and when your HbA1c is between 5.7 and 6.5. So if you detect pre-diabetes, you can initiate the lifestyle modification and postpone the development of diabetes later. The fourth important major modifiable risk factor is the blood cholesterol. There is a relation between blood cholesterol, development of atherosclerosis, that is the deposition of fat inside the blood vessel. The total cholesterol should be below 170 milligram, and you tell about the different components of cholesterol. The bad cholesterol, that is the LDL cholesterol, the low density lipoprotein cholesterol, it should not exceed 100 milligrams. Your good cholesterol, that is the HDL cholesterol, the high density lipoprotein cholesterol, that should be at least 45 milligrams. There's another type of lipid in the blood, which is triglyceride, which is also bad. The triglyceride level should be below 150 milligram. So if you look at these parameters, keeping your cholesterol below 170, your LDL below 100, your HDL above 45, and your triglyceride below 150, your chance of heart attack can be significantly reduced. This can be achieved by dietary restriction, regular exercise, reducing the weight, as well as drug treatment with the statin will be required in many people. Cut down of calories and saturated fat is extremely important. There are four more factors to be considered. One, of course, is regular exercise. What is more important, it should be done regularly. Isotonic exercise and isometric exercise, but isotonic exercise is the one which we prefer. If a person can walk 30 to 45 minutes every day, five days a week, that will be good enough. The next one will be attaining optimum body weight. Avoiding obesity, especially the abdominal obesity. You can take a tape and measure your abdominal girth. Your abdominal girth should be less than half of your height. Always remember that. If your height is 160 centimeter, your abdominal girth should be less than 80 centimeter. If your abdominal girth is more than that, you are obese. Even if your weight is not too high. This is what you call the abdominal obesity, which is linked to metabolic syndrome. And people with metabolic syndrome tend to develop diabetes, insulin resistance, elevated triglycerides, hypertension, and problems like that. The next one will be dietary requirement, like increasing the vegetable intake and increasing the use of fruits and things like that. And last but not the least, try to reduce the stress to the maximum. So I have mentioned about 10 important points, three non-modifiable and seven modifiable. The seven modifiable are smoking, hypertension, diabetes, cholesterol, irregular exercise, weight reduction, dietary restriction, 
and avoiding stress to the extent possible. So 3 plus 7, 10. Follow these 10 commandments. 80% of heart disease can be prevented. Please try that in your practice and start doing it from a very young age. So children and youth should be encouraged to follow this so that we can prevent heart disease in the future. Thank you very much.